Ebi sanfa ni eko ti e ye ni ma me eko ya don ko en ordain sembi e tuja. Ni somo oke ina fa ye NDC fo hon ni na ne se ati ti omo de te te ye ni ma me je me insam. Na ati ti e ye ni ma me je me insam e fem ni na ne se NDC fo si si ade omo hon ni omo ankasa no omo nye. Ye ni ni mse aka les dan e be e tre man ti bi na e che se e ko akotso apa. Ba to she se ni e NDC fo e ye ni oma na o nti e NDC fo a se. Ne no e ne ye ni e ma mi e kwi adon ko e be ka se e NDC fo de si e du o mo e chi e wo mo e mo a ni e ni se ye ye no e ni ye be ye. Because fi ti de wan a ye di ye ni e ma mi je me sa e si e su so no e ne ye yi se o she e ye abatu o su ni oma ni a de no. E ndi si fwa kuma en to mu ye mu da ni nan se e china se a de chinyan se. Ne no e ne ye ye nyan ma mi e kwi adon ko e be ka se. Ni e ndi si fwa ye no en fa so bi e nyo su biko so. No anka se no un hun a de ko pot se pa e ndi si fwa e shi she e wo e ye ye nyan ma mi je me sa on. Fi ti de wan oma ha ma mi sa on. Na e ye ni ni se e ye ye ni nyan ma mi je me se yi si e de be tu abon te se. Ye kwa kwa chulwe di. Iti nou obi an fwen ni ni pa emra e yon mwen mwen jina asa fragbaris e ni e ni pa net. E ni adye ni nan obi an fwen ni ni men ma emra met na e di na ye chulwe nan. No obi an shen e di na ye chulwe nan. Ma mi yoke adon kose e ye ye yin e ma mi je men sa e ti mi e di sa an se mwen na be tu ja. O mo chulwe di yin. O mo ye bibi e vye ye bibi a kotro se yin bibi a kotro ye ni adem. E ba ni se ene ne de endi si fwa se yin. O mo nti a se yin. Na ma meno e ye nyo me bi e en se yin fata. E bi se yin fwa. En se mi de bebre ene ye yin e ma mi e kwi adon ko. E de e tu jwa. De bi yom kwa shwa se yin aha e ye ke intu yi ti yi. Men fe se men swa da adye na kamen hon. Na minu mi yon 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 kwa jye en se minu in chure mo ni yi wya. Asan sa ba ebi du hon en komo. En se mbe bre e kan hon. Mere ma se. Register. To the certified voters register. Within that space. Are clear regulations. And I'm satisfied that at least the IT department had come today to give what I call the underlining IT management of the process. That is very, very important. And uh, for that matter, you know, we definitely, I mean, we want to find out that your engagement with the NDC, uh, did they look first at the regulations that were stated and then the underlying IT management of their presentations of their observations. That is what we want to find out. Thank you very much. Please, we give the mic to Gum, and then we come to PPP before we come to CPP and GFP. Thank you. Okay, good morning. Uh, I personally am very pleased with the presentation of the Letra Commission. Maybe we are yet to hear from our brothers of the NDC to know if they have extra or different issues from what we've heard so far. The paramount decision we as politicians need to take is to decomb our individual political desires from that of our nation, Ghana. Every political party has the dream to win in power, but the ultimate dream must be the fairness, the well-being, 
and the development of our motherland. From what I earlier indicated, I think the EC has done a great job. We are praying not to encounter any pandemonium after the 2024 elections, before, during, and after. And from their presentation, as humans as we are, sometimes minor errors are bound to happen. But from the presentation, if the issues raised are all that the EC spoke about, then I think the EC has done a good job and we need to recommend them. Thank you. Thank you very much. We'll listen to PPP. Yes. Okay, thank you very much. I have a few questions and perhaps a comment. The first one is that um, Dr. Ofori. Oh, okay. All right. Okay, so my first question is um, at the latter part of your presentation, you spoke about missing voter list and uh, indicated that if they are not found in the register, uh, their primary source of registration document will be made available so that on the day of uh, voting, they can be allowed to vote. But you did not tell us what is the cause. I mean, what, how are we able to uh, arrive at that situation where we have some missing voter list? If you could explain the cause, then we can find a solution to it because we cannot keep on re having these things reoccurring. And then um, my second question is on the issue of voter transfer. At what point in time does the Electoral Commission print a new ID card for okay. I'm asking this question in relation also to the fact that uh, usually when they are challenged, it goes to the district court for a, a resolution before a determination will be made whether they should be at the transferred uh, location or they should be returned back to where they were voting before they come. And then um, this is a, a comment, actually. Again, you, you, I quote you, you said, if it has happened somewhere, it is possible it will happen elsewhere in relation to the Pusika matter. So my question to the chairperson and the entire electoral commission is that, is there any law that makes it illegal for the independent audit to be made? If there is none, then my submission is that I feel that an independent audit will rather boost the credibility and image of the voter register. Because just imagine if an independent auditor comes and says, well, the register is 100% clean. That one, it is not the EC saying it. Because what Dr. Ufuri said, I mean, the presentation is nice, but it is the EC speaking. So now that there are issues of mistrust and all that has happened, if an independent person comes and confirms that it is clean, I think it will boost the credibility and the trust that we all have. So that is a comment I want you to consider as well. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, no, no. Please, uh, we would like to your names. So when you stand, you want to ask question or comment, please mention your name so that we know the person who is speaking. Yes, CPP. OK. Yeah, thank you so much, the EC, for this opportunity. Um, you remember Moses Ambe, Coordinator Organizational Committee, CPP. Uh, we in the Convention People's Party we we'll have to commend the EC for it has made this to me. Uh, for us, we all got very alarmed when we had our brothers and sisters from the NDC. Yes, thank you. We all got very alarmed when we had the NDC coming out with all these um, figures. And the figures, in our view, were so huge. But quickly, we realized that the CI already has a self-cleansing mechanism embedded in it. And that mechanism, when you go through the mechanism, you realize that it becomes then very difficult that errors will not be corrected at the provisional stage. 
So after the, uh, giving out the, of the register at the exhibition, we assume that all these errors are supposed to be corrected. And when you go through the proceedings from CI 25 to 27, it is explicit there how these errors can be detected and corrected. And I'm happy, just last week, 24th of September, in Kumase, uh, a district court has ordered the ECC to expunge about 1,000 transfers from Minshia South. And I believe that this is the way to go. Because this process is really embedded in the CI. Where you go to the, to the district review committee, it goes to the district court. So the procedures are very clear. And I'm happy that uh, a district court in Kumase has done this. And I know many more to follow where there are issues, there are procedures to address them. I must also admit the frankness of the EC. Where you got it wrong, you admitted that you were wrong. And you did your checks and you have corrected it. This is what we want to see. As major stakeholders, we are happy when the election body admits its faults that yes, when it comes to issue A or B, we, we had some errors and we have corrected them. We in the Convention People's Party are very glad. Now, uh, we in the CPP are also saying that we are confident of the process thus far, and we hope that uh, all the corrections as stated here will be done before the register is given back to us, the political parties. The EC chair spoke about a re-exhibition online. I believe the only challenge we have as a party is that we've realized that people do not really patronize this uh, exhibition exercises. And if it's online, you know, uh, in our country, our rural folks, I don't know how they can use this short code to check or even use go on online portals to check for their names. So I believe that in that regard, as stakeholders, let's find a mechanism of doing better. How do we get every ordinary Ghanaian involved in this re-exhibition process? I believe when that is done, we will have a very clean register that we all will be part of uh, come December 2024. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, uh, we go to Madam Ike Adonko, GFP, before we do you. Me <laughs> Easy can say, we be out for the nipper. I met a table no, but be a yard and be out for the nipper. Now, yeah, who say a bachelor will be a Jimmy and come once. May me the nipper coy, but be a miss me the nipper coy. Need I to know your children?